If the words kit car make you picture a sloppily made fiberglass Fiero, then Rhino Racing is about to change your mind. They describe their DIY component supercar as the perfect car for those who appreciate the joy of driving. It's street legal, V10 powered, and best of all, more affordable than a used supercar. Welcome to the Rhino Racing RR01. The company is based out of Lithuania, a small country in Eastern Europe. It took them two years to make their first prototype, but they say the kit can be assembled without needing extensive technical knowledge. Unlike the Fiero-based kit cars of the 90s, the RR01 uses a fully welded custom racing chassis. The monocoque structure at the center of the car is made from lightweight T6 aluminum, while the tubular roll cage surrounding it is of a stiffer steel. A modular suspension system mounts on top with adjustable double wishbones and Nitron R3 racing dampers. But what really sets the RR01 apart from modern component cars is the engine. It's powered by a 5.2 liter naturally aspirated V10 borrowed from the Audi R8. Rather than resorting to the LS crate engines featured in so many other kits. The V10 makes well over 500 horsepower, revs to 8,700 RPM, and is fed air from the functional side intakes. Not to mention, it also has an incredible exhaust note and is shared by the Lamborghini Huracan. Rather than using the 7-speed S-Tronic from the Donor R8, Rhino instead gave their prototype a sequential transmission with straight-cut gears and a pneumatic shifter a hardcore racing gearbox that can shift even faster than the bike that inspired this channel name. The exterior of the Rhino is made of fiberglass for lightweight and high durability. Like any good exotic, it features fancy doors, granting the pilot plenty of headroom to get in and out. A single wiper is mounted directly in the middle of the windshield which may be inconvenient for visibility, but is at least consistent with the rhinoceros theme. The custom LEDs, front and rear fender vents, and chassis mounted rear wing are all cost extra options to complete the look. The interior is also extremely race focused. The prototype car uses the bare minimum in basic and lightweight materials. Features include an available 7-inch screen, 10-button center console box, and fiberglass bucket seats. The piste de resistance is an optional quick-release Alcantara steering wheel. It has 8 programmable buttons, integrated computational modules, and paddle shifters. The gauge cluster is built into the wheel as a 4.3-inch anti-glare screen. Road-going customers will be very grateful for the 4 AC vents, spacious cup holder, and, surprisingly enough, both Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Many news sites have counted the RR01 as a cheap supercar alternative, listing prices as low as $27,000, but in reality, this custom track build will cost a lot more than your average autocross beater. The base kit is €35,000, or about US dollars the cost extra add-ons like that cool steering wheel and the exterior aero don't have listed prices yet, but could add another 5 figures of cost to the base kit. Finally, there's the drivetrain. The recommended Audi V10 can be sourced by the customer or provided by Rhino Racing, along with the sequential gearbox for €37,500, about 40 grand in the US. So all told, you could easily spend six figures completing the ultimate custom track car. Not exactly an affordable sum, but hey, compared to Audi's $420,000 LMS GT2, well, it's kind of a bargain. Rhino Racing is already taking pre-orders for their supercar kit and expects to begin deliveries in mid-2024. That means we could start seeing them hit the track in less than a year. Subscribe if you'd like to see an update when it does. And thanks for watching.